Hello, mate. Back from your holiday? Back, yeah. How was it, man? Yeah, all right, mate, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's been nice to get a, like get away. And then by the end, I was kind of like, I'm happy to sort of be back, back to routine, back to like normal. Um, so, so knowing you, right, I, I had it in my head. I was looking at you on holiday and I was thinking, I bet he's like bored of this. Like, the, the, the trouble that I know would be like, no, that's enough. I think I needed that though, because I I've always been like, oh, I don't really look like holidays and that. But actually, this was really nice, and uh, oh, good, good. It was it was nice to just like get away for a bit because I've I've not done that, you know. So and it's just that same like routine, and I think that's what like that burnout that I was kind of kind of like felt that was like stemming from that because it was just the same shit. So, yeah, it's like we both thrive on like repetitive, like like, like doing that, living that lifestyle, but there's, there's obviously a limit, right? There's obviously a limit. Yeah, and now that I'm back, I'm like, like I'm I'm ready to be back on it, you know. So yeah, so it's been good. Um, load of different stuff. Like we went to like quite a few places. It was nice. We went to a, a water park. I couldn't really get on a lot of the stuff though. There, like it was just too big, like, mate. The, those fucking slides are like so fucking high. They're like 200 meter. Like um, yeah, 200 meter. Yeah, like they're that like the whole length of the slide is like yeah. Oh mate, what and what was there like weight limits and shit like that? Yeah, so they had like a they they had scales like at the top because you you climb it. It's like a, it's almost like a castle type thing, and you climb it, and they've got like scales because there's a bunch of like fatties and that. So they're like obviously as soon as they see me, they're like, oh, can you jump on that scale? So I obviously weighed me like 120 kilo limit. So obviously I was out for. I couldn't get on any of them. They were like, obviously, it's dangerous because you can just fly off the fucking slide, can't you? Right, so this actually happened to me last year. Last year, I went to Lanzarote and we went to um, like a aqua park, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, I was 130 just over, and they were like, shouldn't we go on it? It's, like, it's your own discretion, and I was like, I should be right. I yeah. should be right. I don't. I don't know, man. But to be honest, no. Nah, like I, I properly shit myself. Because, like, as you know, you go around the corners and you sort of like yeah. start the side. Yeah. Some sides have got like a uh, like a ceiling, right? So you yes. can't go. Yeah. But some of them didn't. Oh, mm. mate! Like my leg was going above it, and like we're talking about a fucking like fifty to hundred foot drop. Oh like, yeah, that that's what I mean. Like, the length of the slide is like it's. I think that the whole because it's like spins on it, so it's like two hundred meters. It's 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 fucking high. I thought you meant two hundred meters in the air. Well, I, yeah, it was like, that's too big. I don't know. It just obviously because, like, when you go up to the slide, it tells just it's like 200 meters or like this one's like that long or like where I guess like this the whole length of the slide, how yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I could go in the on the ones that were like closed in, right? Yeah, 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 like, uh, closed in's fine, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when when you're heavier, obviously, like going around a corner that you come up or and correct me if I'm wrong as well, but well, it depends on how much friction there is, like, so but, like, if you're heavier, you're your propensity to go faster as well well yeah because it accelerates faster so obviously uh, so it's obviously speed is oh you're gonna yeah. you're gonna accelerate faster so the velocity is 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 greater when you're heavier yeah, mm. oh, fuck. yeah well, that was fucking scary. do you know there's one other time that happened to me i was in uh, how old was i was 20 and i went to malia and mm. i did a bungee jump right i'm an iron whether i should do it or not and a deal on in the end it cost me like 10 euros to go and do a young and jump I was like all right cool I almost didn't do it and then they said to me the limit of this rope this specific rope that we've got is uh, I can't remember how much I weighed but whatever it was I was on the limit yeah I said, if you need a bigger one we'll literally need to change ropes and I was like oh, it's gonna take ages so I was like no just fine um and everyone was jumping off and like like stopping before the water and the water was really shallow and it had a load of yeah. rocks in it Everyone was jumping, stopping, jumping, stopping, jumping up. Right? I fucking went, and it doesn't stop because I was too heavy. Bro, the, the, the water was, I don't know, it was like fucking a couple of feet deep. It was not deep at all with rocks, and my fucking head dipped in it. Oh, my God, I was so close to the bottom. Fuck me. So I think um, skydiving is like the same. Skydiving is a 100 kilo limit. For everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. The legal limit for skydiving is 100 kilos. The same as, um, you know, the they've got the power gliding. So like it's like um, almost like a parachute type thing. And it's like, yeah. 
yeah. like they, they've got all that in, in that's a hundred kilos. So I couldn't have done that as well. I did not, I did not know that. I always in my head thought I'd bother to do that, but I guess that's out of the question, isn't it? Yeah. No, 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 you can't. No, you can't. We we can't. So what so what's the science behind that? Is it like the parachute one is not strong enough? Like what what what's the I don't know. I I I, I just, all I know is it's it's a hundred kilos. I, mean, I kind of want to know that now. Um, yeah, so yeah. so you can't so a lot of the stuff we, we can't even we can't even do. <laughs> well, I know that as well. I went to take my dad to um, you know, I fly. Uh, no, like the indoor, like you, it's like skydiving, indoor skydiving. Um, you, right. there's blow, there's blowers push pushing you up. Oh yeah, and, and you and you lay like this, and it's all pushing. Oh you yeah. Up. Um, yeah, and couldn't too heavy. It, it just won't won't support you being too heavy. So you wouldn't, yeah. Let me look this up. I'm pretty sure it's it's across the board for everyone. Because I would have thought, like in the military or like wherever, some people might weigh more than 120 kilo, 100 yeah. kilo. You know, uh, do you know what? It's probably not beneficial, is it? Like if you're in the military, to be fit, be physically fit, and know like 120 kilos is probably not good, is it? So you're looking it up. Yeah. So yeah. So so different um, counties have different. Um, uh limit limits but like say it says like wiltshire um yorkshire so for male is 16 stone female 16 stone yeah so so yeah 15 some, some places is 15 stone so then morvens and brackley wherever that is is 15 stone oh so 16 stones like 15 is 95 kilo, 15 huh? is 95 kilo right 16 stones 100 kilo in it just over mm. just over yeah <laughs> So the, yeah, the weight there's there is weight restrictions. Oh, okay. There you go. Learn something every day. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. Yeah, I should it's gotta be something to do with like the ability to hot like the, the parachute's ability to keep you up. It has to be. But you, but why would why would 20 kilo make that much? I know, I know, I know. Maybe maybe it just increases the risk, you know. Every every bit you go above it just I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, so this all that, all that like this the same sort of stuff. So that it's funny because a lot of the stuff that we think like normal people do and just kind of see as oh I could do that you we can't I think bungee jumping is is pretty much is similar to to that what you just said well yeah I mean when when I did it as I say I was twenty years old so I was definitely under hundred kilos I was probably more like ninety eighty five yeah. so yeah um would you skydive no. you if you could you wouldn't do it I I don't like heights I don't, I'm not I'm not like scared of heights but I don't love heights. It's not something that I think, oh, I'd love to do that. Uh, the older I've got, the more scared I've become. I thought, like, mm. it makes me get, like, sweaty palms. Yes. E even, when, even when I watch someone else do it, I'm like, I know. Oh. you know what I'm saying? Even like, even, like, walking up those fucking stairs on, like, the, 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 the fucking the slides, I'm like, oh, fuck. And, like, the couple, we went on, like, a couple of them. One of them was, like, a, it's like a free fall. I think it was called, like, a rocket. So it's literally, like, fucking straight, straight down. They put you in this little like a it's almost like a like a cabin like pocket yeah, type yeah. thing where almost like you know when you think like like um Captain America or something like yeah, that yeah. You know? when it comes out the little thing and it like you've got the little steam coming out yeah it. they put you in that thing right and he goes three two one and then the, there's like a the ceiling on the on the bottom drops and you just and fall. You just, you just fall yeah yeah and uh, I was, and you, you did that yeah I did that because it was closed. It is up. Oh, mate, you're, you're literally, you look at it, you look down the bottom and you're like, fuck me, that's high. I mean, that's like a long fucking distance because she went first and like, it. I, I literally watched it and she was down in like two seconds. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but you could see it like in, obviously in the, in the pool down the bottom and I was thinking, oh, fuck. But where she did it, you had to do it. But oh mate, no, there's no coming back from that. Yeah. Like, there's a fucking queue down, like you know, people queuing up to get on it. Imagine you like walking down, like yeah, you know, mate. They they, they, well, they see you like muscly, tattoos, bald head, and they're like fucking out. And you're like, excuse me, do you mind if I come down? <laughs> I don't, don't want to do it. From from that one, that was like 120 kilo limit. I had to walk down actually. Fucking hell, walk of shame. All right. Well, yeah. That do you know what? The older I've got, the more it's like so. We went to where do we go? Went to what's the fucking one in Hungary? Budapest. Went to Budapest and there's um like a Ferris wheel, you know, like a there's one of them in the centre, really big. And we were like, let's give it a go. I didn't really say 
like you and Amy both went quiet. We were having a good time, right? We we got we had some like churros as well and some drink, and we we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it started going up and up and up, and then we both went quiet. We yeah. both just like like yeah. it, was, it was weirdly high, and then it stopped. We stopped at the top to let more people on, and we're both just a bit like, wish we hadn't done that. And the wind blows, and you're like this. Fuck! I don't even know how tall it was. It, like in your mind, it's like the tallest thing ever, right? But then we, we oh, yeah. it, it was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's like I think also the bigger you get, the more like scared you become of like doing like physical shit that you think I might get hurt doing that. Hey, how true is that? So I, I assume you've seen um, you saw Good Veto. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah you know. When I watched it, before I knew he hurt himself, I watched it and I thought, why the fuck did he do that? I thought to myself, like, the people watching who didn't watch it, there's this a Ukrainian bodybuilder. He's absolutely fucking ginormous. Uh, well, he's like five foot eight. He's like so muscular. And he jumped off of a stage when he was doing some guest posing. And the stage was what, maybe six foot? Do you think? I don't know. Probably about six. Um, four foot, maybe. Not even that. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe but not he jumped off. Foot. He just jumped off without like sort of like helping himself down. And I watched it and I thought, fuck, that, like, imagine that. That'd be so painful. I, I, I'd probably roll my ankle or something. Anyway, it turns out when he landed, he, like, his knee sort of jarred. Yeah. Didn't he? His knee jarred and he sort of had to be taken out on a, on a stretcher, a wheelchair, whatever. Even, yeah, like, but... in the pool in that, when, like, I remember, like, back in the day, I used to fucking jump in the pool. Now I'm, like, like slowly getting in. <laughs> oh, do you know how, how embarrassing is it? You know, like, you say when you were a kid, you could, like, I'm in and out of the pool, like, like really, like, snappy. And now you've got to do it, like, bit by bit. Hey, oh, getting oh. out of the pool, you know, when you, like, one time I'm like, oh, I'm not going to use the, stair the stairs. I'm just going to, yeah. like, jump over. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. It's like, no, nope, not doing that again. <laughs> look like a beached whale, you know, like, you fucking, like, get your belly on and then it's all, like, roll and, oh, my God. Or, like, you know when you watch people, like, jump in the pool and I'm, like, I'm literally, like, literally walking so slow on that because I'm, like, if I skid and just, like, fall over, I'm probably going to hurt myself. Like, those people that, like, fucking skid up, fall over, it's fine. Like, they're fine. But, like, for us, it's it's a lot more... Yeah. I, w I wonder what that is. It's like, there must be, like, a, a, a... It's obviously to do with weight, right? It's like, at what point is that shit? Like, if you're under 200 pounds, is it kind of okay? Do you know what like, I mean? If you keep up your... Like, as you grow bigger, and you keep up your, um like flexibility or like um, sure. what would you call it like fitness i guess more like um yeah you know what i mean like there's a guy you'd know who he is his name's big boy he, he's um he does like fucking jumps off like like ramps and does like skateboarding and strength stuff. Cartel. yes mate he is like the most athletic like and he's like 350 pounds yeah he's, he's done like, pads and all sorts like but i think he's always done that yeah you're right so for example right let's say you and I, we're not flexible. We're not like we don't keep up with any of that sort of stuff. So if we fell and we had to catch ourselves with our hand, let's say you fell backwards and you had to catch yourself with your arm, you're probably tearing a peck or yeah. taking your shoulder. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't do that. You exactly. can't go back. Yeah. But one, we're not as flexible and you've got to support more weight. Yeah. So I remember like back in the day, I don't know if you remember, but we did this like pull up challenge, me and you. And I said to you, oh, I can do more pull-ups than you. And you're like, well, yeah, because you weigh like 90 kilos. Of course you can. And I was like, yeah, well, stronger oh, than you. Shit. <laughs> I, I remember there being one in my old gym. So there, there was a lift leaderboard in Clarton. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They had all the lifts. And it was like every single lift. And one of them was chin-ups. And what is your record, actually, the most chin-ups you've ever done? Probably at 30. Not now. Not now. Not now. Yeah, okay. So not, I, no, no, no. I tell you what, now... I actually start, I quite like to start my back workouts with, because obviously because of the torn pec, actually, it helps because of the stability of the shoulders. Yeah. So I'll get so I'll get on there, but they're like almost like um, partial pull-ups. You don't get your chin above, you just sort of do a bit. Oh, I'm literally like almost kind of like up to about here, up to like kind of like eye level type thing. So they're literally partials and they're for like the Terry's. Yeah, I was about to say, it's less lat, isn't it? Like, so there's a variation of pull-ups I do. I would say it's almost kind of like rear delt. Yes. Like I almost, yeah, I'm almost like pinching back a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah. And when you hit that front double bicep, that that in here, it, it really comes out. And I think that's what does that. Um, but they're partials. And I'll do three sets, right? The first time I might get 12. 
And then from there, it's like eight and then maybe four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, funnily enough, I actually still do, I do them. I have done them like all of my lifting career. My best ever was like 26, I think, 27. And I, but I weighed about 125. Recently, I was 130 and I've done 15, 15, 15. I've done 45, yeah, three sets, 15 in each. People don't actually, like, because pull-ups is one of those things that a lot of guys, that when they're light, they'll do shit loads of them. I could do fucking, I could do them all day long, but like back when I was 90 kilos. And you obviously, back when we, when we did that challenge thing, and, and I didn't understand how impressive that actually is when you're heavier. Now, forget it, like... Do you, do you know what, man? It's a bit like anything, though. It's like if you're used to doing it, you know? Uh, and that's what I mean. Yeah, because I've always done it, it's not. It's, it's quite easy for me. Yeah. But yeah, but uh, being 130 like I am now and doing it, it's it's definitely harder, but I, I would still say if there was a gun to my head, I'd still say I could do 20 for sure. I think pull-ups is obviously different. I think chin-ups is easier. Chin up with uh with like more like a supinated. Close grip and 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 yeah, and like and um yeah. supinated, yeah. Uh, I am more used to doing that way, so I'm better at that. Really? But yeah, that a bit maybe more I think because I'm strong, my biceps are quite strong, so I think that's probably what 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 it is. Yeah, fuck. But yeah, so anyway, back to the holiday, mate. Um you enjoyed it, you got a nice tan. I can't tell if you're tan or is it just a dark screen. I don't think I'm, I'm what I'm much more tanned. Actually, I am a little bit more on, especially on my legs, because I I took a picture of my of this like me weighing myself before I left, and yeah, then yeah. after I come back and I was like, yeah, you, it was exactly, exactly the same. And it looked as oh fucking hell, my legs are a little bit darker. Yeah, yeah, your feet were probably tanned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you lost you lost like ten pounds, right? Something like that. Eleven pounds. But you know when you lose eleven pounds, but it's not like good pounds, so you look worse, so you look like fucking shit. Yeah, <laughs> this is what people don't realize. Yeah, we, at, at first, like five kilo, ten, eleven pounds. It is uh, so good. You're basically just not full and not lean now. Yeah, so you're just skinny fat, basically. <laughs> Fuck shit. Yeah. Was That's that, when you, you had you your surgery. So again, when you had your surgery, you didn't yeah, try. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still recovering. I'm still like, even though I weigh 130, I don't look the same. Yes. So 130 about like. Uh, about a month ago, or just about uh, six weeks ago, we looked better. Like I don't know, I just still look a bit shit. I don't know. I think at this point now, I'm like, right, I'm just going to straight on diet. I'm not even going to try and push my weight back up. I'm just going to diet. Uh, okay, so is that the direction you're in now? Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> with the view to what? Is it just like a clean up? Yeah, yeah, just like a, just like a clean up. Just maybe come down to about to thirty five, maybe, maybe. So I'm like, so I'm. I'm where I can always see all the lines. I can see, like, starting to see some quad lines, starting to, you know, kind of in where I'm not fat, basically, you know? Would you say right now, would you consider yourself a little bit fat? Oh, yeah. Even Did though, like, when I left, even though when I left, I was 260, 262, and I looked, and I was like, I don't look too bad. I'm like, I don't look too bad. And then I come back, and I was like, what, 249, 2, 250 something, or about 250, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I look like fucking shit now. <laughs> you know what it is? There's, a, there's like, because body weight is one thing. So body weight is determined by calories, right? Yeah. But body composition is determined by macros, right? So I should imagine your macros were, well, I guarantee you were still choosing protein, but you were having loads of desserts and stuff, yeah? So I literally, because it was so hot, mind you, it was like 42, like, uh, upwards of like 40 degrees. So you're not really wanting to eat, right? Right. And, also, I kind of wanted like a break. I didn't want to eat six times a day. Like, I just didn't want to do that. So when we normally skip breakfast and get to about sort of lunch. So lunch will start at about 12. So we'd have lunch. And I literally just load up my plate with like just meat. And then I'll have desserts. But it was how, how many? How many desserts? Oh, mate, all of them. <laughs> yeah. But even then, because even at that, because you're only having like two meals a day. And then I'll have like dinner. And that would be kind of it. And also, I never drink, right? I never drink. But, like, I just thought, I'll have a couple of drinks. So pretty much every day we had, like, three or four drinks. But they're, like, across the day. So I never got, like, drunk or anything, pissed. But um, had, obviously, like, drunk pretty much, like, every every day had a couple of drinks. And that was it. So, but that's enough to obviously lose weight, you know? Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, like, less calories but more shit calories. 
So yeah, like, and not and not training. So obviously they're not training. That's gonna that's gonna have an impact. I think, but as you say, I think it's like a, a reset because you're always like the same, the same, the same. So, oh yeah. And I'm hoping the answer is yes. Have you got your mojo back for training? Mate, so literally, like yesterday when you train legs, I was like legs the first the first time I come back went train legs. My legs are so fucking sore now, and I'm like I had like such a good session chest today. It's like an, another really good session. And so, yeah, it's, it's been it's been really good. So good. I'm kind of back into it. So train I train with Alex as well as well. So you know that's uh, that's helping because he's got on off a little bit. So I'm kind of like keep you on track, you keep me on track, kind of type yeah. thing. I got that from his uh, statuses, yeah. Like uh, you know, on, on Instagram, sorry, from his story. We spoke about this. Maybe that's a good. Maybe uh, yeah, uh, did... we literally spoke about this today. What about me messaging him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> about maybe, maybe get into that then. Yeah, so let me try and find it because I'll try and get it word for word. He said about like bodybuilding not being a sport. So hold on. Like whether bodybuilding is a sport or um Yeah, but it was more like he said bodybuilding is a vanity competition. Uh you probably won't have it because it's probably um Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So um yeah, in a nutshell. Your your our friend. I was gonna say your friend. He's our friend. Yeah. Um, he he put up a, um, a story saying most people are taking it too seriously when they don't really have a future in it. They don't have a life outside of it, so they're just rebuilding. But they, but they're not even good. And then, uh, and a lot of people are just doing it because it's a, it's not even a sport. It's a vanity competition. And I thought to myself. So I replied and just said a little bit incorrect to call it just vanity because. Ironically, I think I look worse now, like from a aesthetic standpoint. If I wanted to be good looking, I wouldn't be doing this. Yes, you wouldn't be 120 yeah. kilo to yeah. 100 yeah. kilo, like 120 kilo on stage. You're not going to want to do that, you know. If I wanted to be good looking. I'd downsize to probably like 100, 110, you know. And yeah, 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 yeah. So it's definitely not it's not vanity in the sense I would think I, I'm doing it because I want to be good in the field of bodybuilding. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think. And then he actually came back and he was like, nah, you know, there's obviously exceptions, you know, like you're someone who's taken it further, fair enough. But what, what's your opinion on it? I I don't think, like, right, to me, a sport is something that's got, like, a clear criteria of, like, in football, right? There's a, there's, you score, you score a goal, you win, right? That's that's it, right? In bodybuilding, we haven't got that. It's subjective. So it's based on an opinion. So I think that makes it not a sport. Um. So, you know, from that point of view, then obviously the training side, you can say it's like sport activity type thing, right? It's physical. But I think bodybuilding competitively as as, as a competitive endeavor, it's not sport. I agree. Uh, I do agree. But yeah, on, on the other point, I actually, I, I he's, he goes, oh, uh, I said to him, oh, the thing is, I said, like, look, if you... If you yourself had actually done, like, given it and been as, been as committed as some people, I see you could have been really good at bodybuilding because you've seen him. I mean, he's got a really, he's got a good physique, right? He's a monster. He's a monster. He's a big guy. I said to him, like, and it's not just that, he's got the proportions, right? So I said to him, he goes, nah, nah, I wouldn't have been. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but you don't know because you've never done it. Nah, but I wouldn't have been like, I wouldn't, I would never look like Nick Walker, would I? I'm like, but I said, you don't know because you've never actually committed to it. Ah, oh, nah, nah, I wouldn't have been there. Well, do you know what? Okay, well, saying you want to like Nick Walker's, who the fuck does, right? But I would argue he probably had more potential to be closer to that than you or I, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. That's that's And that's what I said to him. I said, a lot of the people that are super committed are not even, like, like that good. Like, for, like I'm not even going to get into who I mean. <laughs> like, there's people that are so committed into it, and you're like... Oh mate, like you should just not even bother. Like fuck, you know. It, yeah, no. It's, it's funny because right, ultimately, I truly believe everyone should do what makes them happy. Right? Like, yeah. Crack on, crack on. Like, but how some people don't have the um, the ability to look at themselves objectively and say, "I'm not, I'm not blessed with the gift of bodybuilding." Yeah. So maybe like rein it in a little bit. Like because yeah. let's, let's think about what you're doing to your health, right? All of them drugs, 
you're pushing the weight up and down, up and down, and also the hyper focusing on all of the minutia in your life. You know, you're potentially ruining relationships with friends. You're distancing yourself from like a lot of people. All of that for what? For what? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're not going to get that reward that you want out of it. So it. <sighs> It just, yeah, it just, it does seem like a lot of the people that do really well in bodybuilding are, like, I think, like, we, we said this about you, like, I think we, me and you had this chat, and you're not as, not that you're not committed, you are committed, but you're not, like, super fucking anal like some people, right? You do what you've got to do. You yeah. do, like, what's necessary, right? But you're not necessarily, like, one of those people that's, like, yeah, I can't, like, miss a meal, or you got to do 2,000 steps after every meal, or like you know you're like no i'll just eat my meals when i get to eat i mean yeah you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely I, I feel like yeah some people think that this has to be rigid guidelines and i don't think that it does you know you know someone i admire for this and some people like hate him for it but i admire him for it nathan diasher right yes nathan diasher is obviously a genetic freak right we can uh -huh. all agree on that genetics are up here but he just he, he doesn't buy into any of it he just he takes the gear, he trains hard, and he eats a lot. And he just yeah. he just does it to the extreme level, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't turn into a little fucking dweeb about it. I mean, on, on podcasts and that, he said like, oh yeah, he's like, I'll go out on the piss, you know, I'll I'll eat like whatever I want and this and that. And it, but equally, like I think if most of us did that, like yeah, get away with it. <laughs> so you know, it's kind of like balance, like yeah. I mean, you you just nailed it basically, like. Most people can't get away with that. That's fair enough. But what I mean is just, there are so, I'm sure you come across them. I, I know Penny again, I'm not going to name any names. Some people really, really put a shift in and they don't have a lot to show for it. And I'm not even talking about titles. I'm talking about literal muscle mass. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. And and I know people that don't even try. Like the floor with them. They just turn up to the gym because they like it and they're fucking good. And they're good. They're actually naturally good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, they never had a coach. They never, they never really tracked anything. They just, they're big and they're strong. I've got friends like that that I look at, and 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 they'll talk to me. They'll, they'll say like they'll ask me like for advice because they, and I'm like, you look better than me. And I'm like, <laughs> and, and you don't even like because they tell me like what their diets like. They're like, oh, I just wake up and I'm just kind of like rush off to work or eat when I can like oh I miss my shots for like three weeks and I'm like oh my god like if I did that I'll literally be like, like be like a a stick oh I think some people have got really good genetics without even realizing it like if well okay so after my surgery I didn't train for for two full weeks and then I was doing a tiny bit in, the, in that third week and legitimately I, I looked like this is not just in my head Amy said it because Amy's always pretty honest. She's like a really good like sounding. Yeah. She looked at me and she was like, mm, "You are that... you are smaller." And I was like, "I know, I fucking am." It's not just in my head. Like I physically like start to shrink. I do. Yeah. And some people just I'm not. Nah. They like they just they they just always, you know. I think uh, that you know when you look at the, the kind of like retired pros in there, they talk about struggling to lose size or. That's that. Like me and you, we can. Uh, if we stopped training, stopped eating, if I started eating like a normal person, three meals a day. I mean, literally did that for like what that that week. And I, you know, if I did that for a year, I wouldn't even look like I train. You can agree more, man. I think I think a lot of it is like hiking. So the other day I was watching um Josh Maley's podcast um YouTube. Yeah. So Josh Maley's starting up a new like thing where he's like doing his final hurrah, like like the, the next 16 months is that's it, and then he's stopping bodybuilding. Right. He's gonna keep training, but like that's his competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were watching, me and Amy. And have you ever seen Josh Maley in person? Yeah. It, he's ridiculous. Yeah. He's so fucking big. He is so big. But not just big as in stature, like everything about him is big. Yeah. When you look at him on his own, because of his height, he just sort of looks like quite a big guy but you know not much and I think I've got a bit of that as well on my own in isolation because of the height just looks a bit <laughs> I, don't know. I think like I was looking at that um of uh, I think it was Amy that recorded a story of you just walking into a gym maybe um I think last week with Kelvin 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I see you walking, and I just I had to, like, double look. I was like, is that Brian? I was like, hmm. <laughs> what, did I, did I look small or big? Which one no, it looked big. big, and I just thought, oh. it, looks, it looks too big to be Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked, and I was like, yeah, like, no, I I, I don't think that. I think that's you. I think that's you just in your head, like, how you see, like, yourself. and Because you see yourself all the time. I think the only time that I look big is when I look, I'm next to someone. Because... Um, like Kelvin, Ke like make no mistake, Kelvin is high level. He's fucking good. Like when I see his physique in real life, there is no weaknesses, none. He's yeah. like he's he's a fantastic bodybuilder. Hmm. But next to me, he looks quite small. Yes. And but in isolation, you don't get that scale, and it's it's fucking it, it does your head in. And that's why we had that conversation. You know, like would you lose four inches to to, to be you know. Uh, I love being tall, but I hate the fact that I always look fucking scrawny. I don't look scrawny, but you know what I mean? I look... Uh, I think... I feel like, like your height is is right. You yeah. Folks, but you're still short enough that it, you know? It's, yeah, it's like, it's almost like, well, it's still, I'd say a six foot is still a bit too tall for a bodybuilder, mm. ideally. Yeah, but yeah. if you look at like, Ronnie was about six foot, wasn't he? About five eleven, six foot, was he not? Five ten, five eleven. I think five, maybe right. five ten. I think. Yeah, but like an inch is not like you know. No, no, it's not like uh, there about you know. Um, so it, it's it's like it's a height that I think. Yeah, you don't want to be too short. I think if you're like five seven, five eight, that's a bit too short. Um, because then you kind of max out your frame. Anything above six foot is too tall. Ronnie Carmel was five foot eleven. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's pretty good, isn't it? You know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, I don't know, but yeah, when you when you got freaky genetics, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But yeah, like, it, it, do you know, what? it's it's really dawned on me in the last few years, like probably the last two years. I'm like, there is there's a big ceiling on how far I can go. Like, I I always thought to myself I could just when I was younger, I thought I could out train it. Yeah. If I if I just keep going, if I just keep going, I'll be able to be big enough and it's fine. But nah, I, I I, I'm too tall. I'm too tall. You had a couple of years, I think between like 2016, 2018, you made a lot of progress. Like you kind of went from like, when you started competing, you kind of went from like quite skinny, quite small, kind of like when we met. And then within like probably, I think about two years, you blew up, right? Oh, I, I know why that was, because I quit the job in 2016. So I was able to like full-time bodybuild. Yeah, but I don't, even think, I don't even think it's that. I think it's the fact that you actually committed to it fully. Meaning, in a way that, like, with the eating and with like the training, and I think you were quite fresh with the training as well. Like, we know a lot of the time we say, "Oh, yeah, lifting all that weight, it was pointless." No, it, it, I don't think it was pointless because I think it built all that size that you have now. And if you could try and do that now, you'll probably get hurt. Not probably, but you would get hurt. Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, do you know? I, I heard the on Bro Chat the other day. They're all. I feel like a lot of bodybuilders. You go through cycles, like in your brain, like. With, with years as you get older you sort of start seeing things differently yeah so the the things that got you big in the first place there is a point where you demonize it you're like oh it's stupid there's no point blah, blah. but then over time you start to realize hold on a minute that was actually a really beneficial thing that i did yeah you know what i mean it actually is one of the main reasons why you and i both got the size in the first place i think also it's it's a way to because we can't do it anymore we kind of ah oh, fuck that, you know. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I bet you, if if I could have like a, if my pec was like good again, I, I'll I'll be down there benching, trying to bench four plates again. But it's because I can't, and I'm like ah oh, fuck it, that fuck that. Do you know? And and, and like human nature, is what we start doing, like a bit like I'll be honest with you, this is what I felt like with Alex, because Alex is now not doing it, and he's not able to diet like properly for a bodybuilding show. He then demonizes it. You know what I mean? He's like ah shit. I think that we all do that as humans. The, the moment that we can't do the thing anymore, we start going, eh. For well, sure. Yeah. It, you know it, I mean? it's, it's almost like, it's it's that thing where, like like I said, if, if we could, if me and you could do that again, like like how we used to train, we would be training like that. No with, yeah, like, he, he just, he just, he doesn't, he doesn't want it that, he doesn't want it that bad. He just doesn't want to die. He, does, he can't, he just can't die it, you know? And that's, that's 
that's fair enough you know it's it's one of them things and again like that's partly like genetic genetics as well because some people can fucking diet some people have the size or the the the, the, the structure but can't diet you know i actually made i always make notes to myself about things i want to talk about and one of them was what you just said there so I, I, this guy in the gym um there's a new gym that's open near me and it's really good uh, you know king's gym i go to yeah yeah the king's gym two has opened like it's just it's like 15 minutes from my house really good and i was in there and this guy went right mate and he started talking to me nice fella and he went um so do you do the competitions all that and i was like yeah yeah i've been doing it for quite a while now and he's like cool yeah yeah i've been um gee, yeah you look a big guy and all that he goes, so what, what are you going for now i said i'm not i'm actually just in off season and he said oh, so when's your next one he said probably early next year he goes i bet you're dreading that and all that and i said no actually i, I honestly i know it sounds weird but i really like dieting and he was like I've never heard anyone say that. And it just, and it triggered her. I thought, oh, okay. And it, I just thought it was funny how a lot of people's perception of dieting is very, very negative. Like they see dieting as a chore, as a, oh, I've got to do it. But for me, I don't know what it is, but there's something in, about dieting I just, I love. I can't wait to do it again. I think the more I've done it, the more I try, I tend to actually prefer the dieting side. Not the last time, not the last bit, but overall. Because like how I feel at like 260, I'm like, oh, constantly sluggish. You're constantly like, you don't like how you look. Not even like your face. You don't feel confident. Like we've spoke about this before. And it's like, well, it's when you start dying, within about a couple of weeks, right? You start to tighten up. Your, your face starts to slim down. You start to look better. So that first, like, let's say, 10, 10, 8 to 10 weeks of that first like dieting phase is actually quite easy. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, that would be my advice for anyone who like watches this and is like in a diet. Like a really good thing to do is like the, so important. You know, again, we were talking about your start position. It's really yes. important, but I think your start position here as well, because what always happens with me is that I eat so much in the off season that I'm sick of food. So then the first five, six, seven weeks of dieting, not only is it not hard, it's actually very, very enjoyable. So yeah. then before I know it, I'm halfway through prep and I haven't struggled, not even a second, because yeah. it's actually better. You know what I mean? So what, what needs to happen is before you start prep, a really good tip is make yourself sick of food. If you're to the point where you're literally... Yeah, go on. Start their diets on low food, right? Because they... They either don't have enough muscle or they start just too fat. So you can't, how can you start on 4,000 calories when you're like too fat? You can't, right? So you have to kind of start on low food. So from day one, you're like hungry. That's a good so point. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That's what we have with, we spoke about this, like Craig's client. Uh, which one? The one that he said um, that he was moaning about um, eating like not a lot Habit of food. Habit food. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, well, yeah, because it started off too fat. So you kind of have to do that. Yeah, that, that's a, that's actually a really good point. Um, what I just said is actually only relevant if you can get away with it. Because if you're force feeding food and you're already fat, it's no good. I think there's another thing as well. There's an element, as you, you just covered it a minute ago, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So I remember, I remember my first ever prep. And I was, I was food obsessed was during prep i remember i was having dreams about the like, shit food when i finished my competition I drove to sainsbury's near my house back home and as i was driving there i was literally shaking with excitement oh like, yeah like like i was like salivating and i was like, like my heart was going faster because i was thinking about food um and it's very easy for me to forget that because now i haven't got that but back then oh mate yeah so it's yeah. like, yeah, you do. When you're not used to it, it's fucking it's a shocking system, isn't it? My first couple of diets were exactly the same. I would literally, not only that, I, I would cheat on my diets. Like, I would always like, cheat, like, almost like get to a point where, because I used to like, at, like before, like we've, we've probably all done that. Like when you crash diet, you bring your food down too low yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. now I'm going to have a cheat meal. And you, you take it like too, like <laughs> you take it too far. Yeah, you diet too hard and then cheat too hard. Yeah. Hard and hard, hard and hard. And then you're always, in, and you, you're just in the same spot. You're always in the same spot. I mean, even like one of my first diets, I remember like you did one of my first diets, like 
I like proper first diets mm. where I diet down like from kind of um kind of remember how much I weighed like whatever but I remember like the rebound from that I I went off I went off yeah I, yeah I, you you were with me I think it was 2017 maybe maybe uh, 16 yeah 16 or 17 yeah yeah but it wasn't very long and yeah you probably weren't mentally ready for that yet well, I think it was like probably like four or five months, probably like I think we did like a 20 week diet or, or you know, but but yeah. And 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 you know what? Like I, I I think now if 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 I did that now, I probably wouldn't it wouldn't be anywhere near like obviously at the time you're it's different. It's different when you're first starting out. Like food is like like you just become obsessed with it. I think what it is is like I think as as humans, we're like creatures of habit. And do you remember when you were younger, I used to just, I'd be bored and I'd just walk to the fridge and just open it up and I'd look and I'd go, I'd just pick that call and then I'd walk away. And then probably like half hour later, I'd go do the same fucking thing again. Like, I know, I know what's in the fridge. I'd go and look again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'd, I'd, you know, the moment you feel a bit hungry, you just go and grab some cookies or grab some, you know what I mean? So it's, it's breaking those habits, breaking those habits, which a lot of people struggle with, I think. I mean, even now, like this year, because you did you did you didn't put on much weight, Pog Show, did you? No, 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 no regular, normal. Yeah, because we 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 were talking about this with Craig, weren't we? And he obviously he was saying about how he sort of kept he put on a decent amount of weight, but he sort of kept it still tight. Whereas, like for me, like I I think both of, kind of for both of us, where it's because we weren't happy with like the end look. Or for me, because I weren't lean enough, I I just I I had no desire of like pigging out and going up, like mental. I even dieted for the like for the next couple of weeks like, still. Yeah, yeah, you did. You kept doing like high and low days, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah worked that worked really well. That worked really well. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right, man. I, I think because we weren't satisfied with the outcome, that it was just like it almost felt like we didn't earn it, maybe or maybe like I don't know. Over the years, and it's almost a bit sad, really, but food doesn't have an appeal for me anymore. And it's strange because food is so pleasurable for so many people. For me, I don't have that really anymore. There's every now and then I like it, but not really. I think that's a good thing. I feel, I mean, look, still, if I if I'm going to have an off plan, I kind of eat what I want. I don't worry about this or that. I'll eat what I want, and then, I, but then after that, I'm kind of happy to kind of go back on my diet. Yeah. It always makes me want to go back. It always makes me want to go back. See, like, last night um, we were in Asda like, like yesterday, yesterday afternoon, and Amy was like, "Oh, look, there's some um, pancakes. There's some uh, Biscoff pancakes on offer." And I was like, Oof. "And she's like, come on!" And I was because like, she's dieting, right? Yeah, 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 she yeah. It's through me. And I was like, mm. and she was like, "No," and she put them in the trolley. And then last night I finished my meal five. I still got another meal. And she's like, "Do you want the pancakes?" And I was like. She was like, babe, pancakes. And I was like, yeah. Oh. She went and made them for me and she literally watched me eat them. Because she's like, she gets pleasure from that. I was literally just putting them in, but like miserable. So. I tell you what, the Asda pancakes, that are the um, like the bakery ones. That's what it was. Oh, was it? Yeah, the Scotch pancakes. They come in like a... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like six of them. Yeah. Oh, they're really good though because they're actually macros in them. They're quite good. They're actually quite low in fat. Low, yeah, low fat, high carb. Um, yeah, uh, so quite they're a lot of, like, really good. Over the years, I've given a lot of clients them as like a post workout. I tell you what, though, I can't. I always look at it and I'm like, that's really good because it's like it's dense, right? You're getting, I think for the pack, you're getting because they have five of them, in, isn't it? So oh, I think right. it's like 250 grams of carbs in like the whole pack. But I think if you eat that, I then can't eat for because it's so stodgy and so I can't eat for like. Four hours or five hours after that. Yeah, that's so the thing. Kind of if, five, isn't it? if you're eating sweet foods, I feel like you fucked your appetite quicker, doesn't it? Like, especially not just in the moment, but like long term as well. Mm, yeah, it could be. I, I don't know. I mean, cream of rice is fine. Not like generally, cream of rice is fine for for me. I could eat. Um, I feel like um, if I have too many indulgent foods, it makes me my appetite fucked off. Like it's like insulin sensitivity. I think like body fat, but then also sugars. I uh, just yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean and that's why I mainly just eat rice. 
mainly just eat rice because it's just even if it like over cream of rice or like cereal i don't eat cereal anymore i i can't remember the last time i had cereal so for me cereal is a really easy way of getting the cal- like granola yeah oh yeah but granola like granola is a bit different isn't it it's like yeah cereal, i'm talking yeah, about it's... like cocoa pops and like i've I literally hate fucking cocoa pops you hate cocoa pops now i do uh, right, mate. Right for me, Rice Krispies. Like the amount of volume you've got to eat to get the calories. Yeah, yeah. Right. To be fair, I think Rice Krispies is probably the worst for volume because it's just so much. One hundred percent. Yeah, for like you know, like if you have like two hundred grams of Rice Krispies, I'll fuck you up. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good, man. Yeah, no fucking. I yeah, I, I I think for for me, rice is just the easiest way. And jasmine jasmine rice gets nice and sticky, so it's easy to. It's easy to get that in. So, and that's most of my diet at the minute. Like, because I've, st- I've started with Hilly and I said to him, like, I just want a plain fucking diet. I don't want like anything fucking fancy. So, literally, my whole diet is like chicken and rice, beef and rice, chicken and rice, beef and rice. So, when you, when you give people a plan, you feel, um, I don't know, guilt is probably the wrong word. But like, if you gave them like five or six meals a day and everyone's like, like a version of that. I ask people, I, I'm like, look, what do you want? Are you someone that's quite because if if I got someone that's quite busy, right, and they can't prep six times dip six different meals or six different meats, I'll go, look, what we can do is one day we can do just chicken. Next day we can do just beef. I, I, I say, like, I'll give you the amounts. And if you just want to do beef, just do beef that day. You don't have to cook beef and chicken and, and this and that. So, you know, you've got the options. And same with like if you're if you're someone that prefers the more like snackier foods like you know i might i might say like right squares or like things like that over rice because they just they might not you know i kind of ask people yeah i get that i get that i think some people really like simplicity but i, I always find people over complicated because like ultimately right if it's beef or chicken they both are really easy to make it's not like for example yeah. if you if you gave me one beef one beef meal and one chicken meal it's not like that's harder than two chickens. They're both as easy as each other. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, obviously you know I mean? Having separate meats is like, is, is that's the type of thing, you know what I mean? But like, I think in, in general, and, and if I if I said to you like, have chicken or have beef with rice, you've got no excuse. Because let's say if you're like, oh, well, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, obviously now the time to make it. So I went to the shop and got such and such to eat at work. Well, you could easily just buy a pack of chicken and a pack of rice and use the microwave at work. Yeah, hundred percent. And that works. It's exactly the same. I, I got this client at the moment. Have I actually made a video of me preparing my meals, like to prove to him that it could take ten minutes? You can prepare your daily food in ten minutes, and he was like, "No, no way." So, chicken and beef on on two separate pans takes like, yeah. a week up small. Um, packets of rice, so you like do two packets. That takes four minutes in total. All the kettle for the oats and then a bagel and jam. And you know what I mean? And I made it all in 10 minutes and made him a video. Because he's like, I'm so busy, bro. You don't understand. I haven't got time to do it. I don't know, man. I don't understand what people are doing to prepare their food. Why does it take people so long? I hate taking long to prepare food when it's yeah. my normal daily meals. 100%. Like, if it's like a, 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 look, I don't know, if you're cooking a meal like with your missus or like wherever, that, that's fair enough. But for my normal meals, now nah, I'll just put, like you said, I'll put the chicken on the pan. Whilst the pan's heating up, I'll grab like the cream of rice. So if I'm having rice, yeah, yeah. and I'll do the same, all the same, and it's all done at the same time. Literally takes me like three or four minutes. The, the amount of time it takes to cook one meal is near enough the amount of time it takes to cook three. Because yeah. you do all at once. You do all. Yeah. It's all going at the same time. Yeah. I think people just hate eating like they want every meal fresh. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I, I like that as well. And that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. It's only because I, I work yeah, well, we can. Yeah, we can, yeah. But if, if you couldn't, then you'd have to bubble it. I mean, we've done it before. Definitely, 100%. You know, I, even I, prepping prepping meat for like a couple of days ahead, that's still fine. But you know, recently, I think what it comes down to is that they don't really care. You know, recently, you've lost the love a little bit. Like, you're not, you, you, you've not been as buzzing about training. You've just been a bit like, you know. I think that's where most people are most of the time. Yeah, they don't, see, they, they, they don't love it. They, they don't love it. I you know hated I mean? that feeling, though. I hated like not like 
for me, what what and what was worse is like, you know, because you love training. You look, I, I'm like, why do I wake up and not feel like, oh, I want I want to go train. Like that's what was bugging me even more than the actual fact that like I didn't have like good workouts or whatever. I'm like, why do I not have that? I'm like, have I lost my like thing for training? <laughs> yeah, like what if it never comes back? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and sometimes we take it for granted because we always love it. Well, 99% of the time we love it, but most people don't. So imagine in your head, you look at Instagram and you see a load of people in shape and think, God, oh, I'd love that. Hey, well, I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to get a coach. But deep, deep down, you don't care that much. No. But in your mind, you've got all the best, you know, you've got the best intentions. You get a coach and then they give you all the food and you're like, yeah. Fuck. And then all of a sudden it dawns on you. They've got to like cook, clean, boring, boring, boring. And like all of a sudden it's like, oh, fuck. You know, I don't think people quite realize the repetitiveness of it. But I think it's easy for people to just like give it up. Whereas for us, even though I hated the thought of going to the gym, once they're giving me anxiety to go to the gym, oh. I'm like, I must go because I can't get smaller. So I'm like, I'm going to have a shit workout, but I've still gone to the gym and still trained. I didn't want to train, but I've still drained. I've still eaten six times today. <laughs> sure. No, I feel like, yeah, we've got the overriding thing that we can, it still means enough. Yeah. It still means enough. There was still this burning desire for you in the back of your brain where you're like, you know what? I have to. I think it's more of an ego thing. Like I was talking to Alex about this. I said to him, like, because he's like, oh, yeah, I don't really enjoy bodybuilding anymore. Things like that. I'm like, just stop then. Oh, no, I don't want to get small. I'm like, yeah. so it's exactly that. It's like, you you just have that like image as always being that guy. So imagine you now, you go, that's it, quit bodybuilding now. Well, what, like, it's almost like you you make that your personality. I was just about to say that. It becomes who you are. Yeah. It becomes your identity. As much as I don't want to admit it, it is absolutely part of who I am. And and I think the same- Imagine yourself you now switching to- boxing and you're like now you're a boxer I'm weird and do you know what I actually had this conversation with the guy I was training with today like you know okay best example recently is Jamie Jahal for me being so tall Jamie Jahal is always like the gold stand yeah of all bodybuilders he's it he's here okay recently he's not been as into bodybuilding and he's a bit like yeah I'm gonna downsize I'm gonna and straight away my mind goes like I'm not, I'm not as invested anymore. When someone changes direction, I, I don't, I'm not as invested in them anymore. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't really follow him, but I, I see why you follow him. But I think I've, I've, I've seen a couple of his videos, and it's just a bit boring. I, I, I find. I feel like because I, I just admired him so much, I always, yeah. I always followed it. But um, another, the other example I used was you know Mark Bell, Slingshot. Yes. I loved his YouTube. It was like my favorite. About five years ago, just everything powerlifting and just all that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he stopped powerlifting and he started running. Yeah. I don't and watch I it. Like, nah, I'm not into it. I just, so it's funny. I feel like if we stop, oh, <laughs> um, you're a dickhead, mate. What are you doing? Um, yeah. If, if we stop bodybuilding, like all of a sudden, there'd be a lot of people, not a lot of people, there'd be a load of people who would immediately just switch off. Because we are in this little um, like bodybuilding community where everyone knows everyone. And 100%. But I kind of envy those people that can just switch and just change direction. And they're like, I've done, I've, I've, I'm kind of like tired of bodybuilding. I'm going to go and do something else for a bit. Like, I can't see myself doing anything else. Either. Even like, I was having chats with, with Alex about this. And I'm like, because I was like that, that out of it, like at one point, I was thinking, should I just do something else? I'm like, should I just do something else? And I was thinking, and I was saying to him, I was like, I don't think there's anything else I would want to do. Like, there's so, not. So Alex actually, Alex, Alex actually said that to me about you. He said, uh, he goes, I'm not really the bodybuilder. He goes, I think Dudley's a bit over it as well. And I was like, oh, and I said, I know. But I was more saying, uh, I was more saying, I know, because you've not been as into training. Yeah. But, but is is there more to it then? Have you have you actually been like considering like? Oh, but you know when you let me just turn to, uh, my um thing is uh, charger. <laughs> no, but um, oh, my my cat is uh, I'm trying to do the podcast. My fucking oh. 
No, not to that extent, right? But you know when you're like, almost like it gets to a point when you're just think, especially post show, I was kind of like, oh, this is so fucking shit. Like I was, I was so like anti it in a way that I was, you know, sometimes you sit there and you think to yourself, should I just not even bother? Should I just do something else? You know? And and then you snap out of this, like for literally like a, a split second, you kind of have these thoughts. Um, but then you just think, no, because literally I, I, and I, I kind of thought, could I do like a martial art or something? But then, no, I can't see myself doing anything else. I just can't. I agree. I agree. So after this, um, after this most recent show, there was a, uh, me and Amy went for a walk and I said to her, I just had a thought and I thought, I'm going to say it, fuck it. And I said, I don't know if I want to compete anymore. She was like, really? I was like, yeah, like, I still want to bodybuild, but I don't, I think maybe the competing part's done. And she was like, oh, okay. Anyway, by the time we'd finished the walk and I got home, I was like, nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> I, I fucking, I, I, just, I had that thought. Yeah. And, and I'll be honest, that's the first time I've ever thought it. And I thought, oh, is that maybe because I was, I was 35? I mean, because I'm 35 and, you know, I'm winding down. But, I'm, but you know, as time's gone on, I'm like, nah. I've got I've got a lot left in me still. I know I have, and and that that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's it's kind of like one of those things that you kind of have those chats with your mates, and you're like, mm, like, but then but then no, you kind of snap out of it. You just think, what am I even talking about? What the fuck else would I do? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And I almost feel like silly for having that thought, but it's like I wonder if other people do. Now you've said you've had it, and I wonder if like a lot of people have had it. You know, like I think they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Because- they- it's odd for us to kind of think that now because I think we 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 get to that point where we've done it for so long that it's almost like progress isn't as fast. It's like yeah. it's all kind of like the same, the same, the same. Yeah. And I think when we're like first getting into it, you tend to fall out of routine a lot more often than you do now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like now it's kind of like it's just autopilot, so you just do it. One hundred percent. And I think that builds that routine, but also it kind of like gets stale. Yeah. So what you just said there as well. So if when you're younger and you sort of, you're in it, then you're out of it, you're in it. So it's kind of normal to be out of it. Yeah. Whereas now we're always in it. So any moment where we're not fully in it, you think, oh, fuck, what's wrong? The shit, is it like, am I not into it anymore? Do I not want to do it anymore? Yeah. But actually it's pretty normal. It? Like we're humans, we have, we have ups and downs, you know? But I, I never had these thoughts like, four or five years ago, like, I, it never was a thing. Like, I just thought, man, yeah, it's just what I do. You know, I can't see myself ever. And I, I'm sure you've had friends too that, like, were, like, probably had, like, really good physiques as well. And they just all of a sudden just stopped training. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. How can, you, how can you stop training? How can you not want to train? How can you not want to be big? And it would just be like, oh, I'm just kind of over it now. And I'm like, I'll never get, I'll never be that person. Yeah, it, it is bizarre. Um, the guy I used to live with, I think you know him as well, you know Ian Potter? Ian, yeah. So Proctor, he was just like, he's always had a great physique, always. Even when yeah. he used to play uh, professional football. He's not like the, the biggest guy, but he's lean and it, yeah. Yeah, he, he's always looked good. He, and as I say, he was a professional footballer when he was in his teens. And he, even then, he had a great physique. So he's always looked like that, right? Um, and then when he was living with me, he had some proper deep chats. And he was just like, yeah, I, I'm just, you know, I don't know. If I don't, he used to be like, I've trained once this week and I, you know, I might not even go this week. And he was just like that. And I was like, so what next? And he was like, I don't know. He was mm. completely at peace with it. He was completely, like, he'd come to terms with that. He didn't really care anymore. And I thought, fucking hell. Just, just like that. Just like that. I just, yeah, I, I think we're not there yet. We're not. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm, fucking, I'm not there for a long time. Like, even, like, for yourself, you're still, like, obviously in that prime now where you can still, you've still yeah. got. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think like now, so you, you're 20, you're 20, you just turned 26, right? So I've just turned 36 and it's now or never for me. It's not like I can't have a few years and then do it. For me, it's now. Yeah, oh yeah. No, yeah, sure. do you know what I mean? I've probably got until I'm 40 where I'm still going to be competitive. And mm. then after that, I don't know. But do you know what? Someone like Craig is inspiring because Craig is 40, he's like 42 in a few months. Yeah. Look at Craig. So, you know. I think what what we were kind of talking about though is like because Craig hasn't done it for like as long right as as some people. Meaning he started that competing a year before me, but no, you're right. It, as some people, yeah, he hasn't. So I was again back to one of the chats I was having with, with Alex because he's he's thirty. I think he's thirty one. 
But me and him haven't actually trained. He hasn't trained that much longer than I have. It's right, just right. he started yeah. later than I have. Same, same for you. Like me and you probably haven't trained. You haven't. You probably haven't trained that much longer than me. But it's like almost like because you started later. So we've yeah. both, both got the same time on the clock. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mileage on the body. Mm. I started when I was seventeen. Up. It wasn't serious. It was just yeah. like whatever. It was t-shirt weights for, for yeah. on a night out. I didn't, com- I didn't bodybuild properly until I was 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How crazy is that? I didn't actually bodybuild until I was older than you are right now. It's mad, yeah. That's fucking yeah. weird. I think, but yeah. But that set you up nicely for a lot of these things that a lot of these mental problems that a lot of people go through, like from being so hard so quick. That, 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 that's probably why I'm 36, but like, it's not like my body looks tired. You know no, what I mean? It's, no, no, yeah. no. So. Whereas, see how many fucking injuries I've got. I've got more injuries than you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, you have. It's just, I guess it's just a peck, right? It's just a peck, really. But apart but from that, um, yeah, yeah, but that, that doesn't affect me. It's just it, it's just one of these things like you, like people break shit and it's like, that, that literally doesn't have any effect on anything. Because uh, bones just heal, don't they? It doesn't, it, it literally has no kind of cosmetic. Yeah, I don't, but breaking a bone is actually way better than like, you know, like a joint issue. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, like, like tendons, ligaments and joints are way worse because they, they kind of will affect you forever. A hundred percent. In yeah. fact, probably stronger. That's actually my stronger arm because it's got all the metal stuff inside it. It's actually probably reinforced. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, in, in a way, like, because I remember like, the first day I walked into the gym and I, I used to train at Southampton in, in the, um, the, the gym group in the uh, town. Yeah. In one. And the, the, the first day I walked in and that's when I first met like Aaron Jones and all these guys. And it was like that gym had like such a nice atmosphere for like guys that were training really fucking hard. And like, like I become fr- like friends with Aaron since like day one, and I just looked up to him, and he was like fucking benching two hundred kilos and shit like that. So I was like, well, that's what I need to do. And like within a couple of months, I was benching like hundred kilos and stuff. So I've been hard at it from like the start since like day one. Yeah, you, what, what were you? Must have been at what seventeen, eighteen, sixteen. What what were you? What? Yeah, yeah. Like I think I had just turned seventeen. You're almost a decade in, even at your age. Hmm. Maybe, maybe even sixteen. I can't. I can't remember exactly, but like sixteen or seventeen, yeah. And like, yes, yeah, so it's pretty much from day one. I was literally like, so that, that that's true. Like, it's important. Like when people talk about age and what age can go to, it really matters on how the years have been spent. Hmm. No, no, five years are not always equivalent to five years. It depends yeah. how those five years were spent, doesn't it? Yeah. Or like how. Because people go, yeah, I've been training since I was 16 in this arm. Yeah, but you're like, yeah, but you training, it's like, it's almost like you've got to think, like, what level? No doubt. And that, that's, that's that's my thing. I put miles on my, I put miles on my body, but not through training, through going out and taking drugs. I feel like that probably took a you toll on me. effect? That had much of a, much of a... I, I, I actually don't know the answer, but I did a lot of it, so my opinion would probably be if you do a lot of something, it's probably going to have some effects. Yeah, I don't know. But... Mm. I, I don't know because it because it's it's one of them things that you're still you are you're still fucking strong. You are still really yeah, strong, yeah. And like so you still must have trained hard. Like I don't think anyone benches like 180 kilo for like reps, just out like by chance. Yeah, well. I, I I got to 180 kilo natural. I got to 180 kilo bench natural, um, and that was going out every weekend. So I, I got to a certain level. Just just. How? When did you first start using drugs? 2011. 2011, right? So that would have been. When it, you was started competing in what? 15. 2015, yeah. Right. Right. So yes. Yeah. So it's not like you kind of were like training naturally, and then you were like, right, I'm going to bodybuild now, and that's when you no. start. Well, do you know what? Ah, so I've got a, I've got a thing on my Facebook, uh, 2010, where I announced I put a, I put a photo up and I said, uh, three months before my competition, 
Right. So I had it in my head that I wanted to compete from 2010. But I wasn't mature enough. Like, I wasn't there yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um... What would you yeah. have done then? The, the UK BFF or something? Yeah, it was going to be, yeah. Did you ever do any UK BFF? Uh, yeah, I did, uh, my first ever job, did you do BFF? Oh, wow. I did, um, Classic. Yeah. Um, there you go. Thank you. Three months. Is, that, is it back to fun? How did you look? So that was uh, J uh January the twenty fifth, two thousand and ten. Yeah. Uh, I look like this. That's still better shape. Than, <laughs> that's still better shape than like most people that actually go go to the gym hard. Yeah, bro. So I was going out every weekend. I was natty, and uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Like, so in my head I was like, I could, I could do it, but no. Nah. So from that point, it took me five years and three months to actually get on stage from that point. But even now, like in like today's sort of standard, that's still a good physique. That's still a really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Like if you've got a client like that, you'd be like, oh, yeah, he's right. He's yeah. quite good. No, that's yeah, what I mean, no. yeah. yeah. So just, just to think like, because a lot of people like, you know, when you look at the physiques, like the physiques back then and you think that person that used to look really impressive now isn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, yeah, 100%. Like, people that you thought, oh, fucking hell. Now you look at me like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Whether it's, like, because we got bigger or it's because, like, the standard is just so much higher. Yeah. But even, like, the lot. YouTubers, like, because I, 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 I was kind of, like, bored the other day. I was kind of, like, looking back through, like, some of the old YouTubers I used to watch that I used to think, fuck me, they're so impressive. And now I look at them, I'm like, oh, no, nah, just looks yeah. like Do you, I remember one of the first ones I ever watched was um, Matt Ogus. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah. He was the one, the first time I, remember when you used to always go on about Pop-Tarts? Yes. And he was the one that got it in my head. Um, yeah. And I actually randomly like went searching him the other day. He, he was pretty lean, but like, not a lot else. Yeah. Not a lot else. But I used to look at his physique and think, fuck. Yes. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> but yeah, those old school days, man. Fuck. I'm glad they happened that way. Uh, by the way, I put on a um, Q and A. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we, should we work through a couple? Let's do that. Let's do that. I think last one was quite a good one where we kind of got into some of the like more like off topic, off like bodybuilding topic stuff. Because I think that's that's nice. Because I think we constantly talk about bodybuilding, like in in normal life. Yeah, it's nice when we do this. It's not so like so bodybuilding, solely bodybuilding always. Well, I put I put it on there. I said, um, you know, how does body, how you know normal life and bodybuilding? That was yeah. what I put on the story thing. So I got one, two. I got like nine questions to have a little look. Yeah, let's 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 do them all. See if they any need. First one, stupid one. What's the biggest hormone enlarged gym girl clitoris you've ever seen? Oh, do you know what? Like, I tell you what, though. Um, there was a bird that she she's actually turned pro now in in women's bodybuilding. Ooh. She's like I, I don't want it. I don't want. She actually I actually I tell you what. When I saw her, I wasn't um, like on. She wasn't on anything. But I can imagine now it's like. <laughs> You'd be like, oh yeah. Do you know what? Like, would you mind that if if like a girl had that? Yes. No, but just to get with her, just for like one time. Oh, if I was single and it was a one-off, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what yeah, I mean. Well, I don't think that. Like, I'm probably, I don't know, I wouldn't mind that, like a, a, a female bodybuilder, like. How would you not even like, always, because it, it's a bit too masculine. How would you even deal with it? Like, I'm being, like, like, literally the logistics of it. Would you, would you, would you still, you know, like with a clip, you normally rub it, right? Like, or lick it. Would you literally have to fucking toss it off a little bit? Probably like fucking... Like, I don't know. I, don't know. You know I mean, like, you're like, you pull, pull the, the clitoral head. No, have, you never seen, have you never seen in porn these, these birds with like massive clits, like female bodybuilders? They fucking like wank it off like, like, like a dick. They do, they do. So you actually, you'd have to be like this. Probably, yeah. I imagine so, yeah. It'll probably like rub on your dick when you're like going uh, in. Yeah, I, um, I can't say that's a thing for me. And you know, what, uh, hand on heart, because I, I, I'm, I'm an open book, I've never actually come across it in real life. Never. I've been with birds that have had like 
bigger like they but not like steroid fucking clits they've just been like just, you know some birds just have like a bigger fanny don't they oh so they have big lips big fanny lips but never yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah i guess yeah 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 the actual clit no so anyway let's move on to the next one will either of you be at two bros this weekend corner's doing this this weekend yeah so so is amy Oh, yeah. Hey, Amy's doing this weekend. So, yes, I am driving down there on Thursday night or Friday, Friday morning. Well, I was debating whether to come down, but now I'm definitely going to come down. You're going to come, yeah? Oh, 100%. Oh, you're yeah. there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. See, you. see you there, then, mate. Yeah, so then to- I was trying to convince Tom to do it. Ah, oh, okay. It might, um... He might, though, you know. He might be doing it on the slide, yeah. No, because I said to him, I said, you, you should do it. I said, because I said, he goes, oh, I'm, I'm doing Telford next. I'm like, I said, I'm not, I said, I want to see you on stage, but I'm like, I'm not going to drive down all the way to Telford. I'm like, do the two bars. He goes, yeah, I might. Yeah. Well, I, I spoke to him at the last one. So I saw him just, I was, he, he just registered. I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, yeah, I just like keeping under the radar. So I reckon yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to make a prediction here. Yeah. yeah, but no, I talked to him quite a bit. And he, he, he said to me like, what, what once he's, he's got in mind and what once he's, he's, he's got on the list to do. Yeah. But, but, I, I still reckon he still would be doing under the radar ones. Sure, he's got like planned like nine shows or something. Yes. I'm like, mate, hey, like I said, are you gonna last that long? Like, because you know when you first start dying, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do this show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show. That one, and that one, that one. one you're like, uh... well, the only way to do it is if you're not fully conditioned. Sure. And right now he's not fully conditioned, so he's actually able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was conditioned like now. In about two months, he's gonna be fucked. So, oh yeah. Okay. I mean, holding it like I've never been there, so I, I I don't know what that's like to hold it. But for my for my standard of condition, where where I was at, I probably could have pushed another three or four four weeks, and that would have been it. I would have been yeah. done. I, I felt it at the universe. So when I, I did FedEx, and then four weeks later it was universe. So we obviously yeah. were at, at the universe. I could honestly feel my physique was starting to deteriorate. Like, so the like, weaker body parts really flatten off. Let's say, right, you do a show and then you're like, take a full week off, like fucking binge and just go mental. And then you have those three weeks to kind of tidy up. Would you say that's probably like that? I think that would be quite difficult to get back into it. Though. Yes, Entity. that's exactly what I was about to say. The moment you take your foot off the gas, getting back into it is hard. Yeah, yeah. Because it's very much psychological. Uh-huh. But I think if you can, if you can, if you can kind of take that week off and then rein it in, I think that would be a good look. If you can, great, because it'd be great for your it'd be great for your physique. But it wouldn't be good for yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So you don't think you could do that? Uh what? having done it so many times and having done like having competed for so long. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Right, okay. I, I know now, like it's all up here. Fighting's easy because you make it easy. Yeah. The moment it's not easy. Remember when we both finished our shows and we did a podcast? Yes. Both of us were like, fuck that. Yes. Because up here's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once your head's gone, that's it. Yeah. 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 So, like, I, I know myself now. When, when my head's not there, fighting is hard. So, no. Um, how do you deal with constantly being asked if you're a bodybuilder or any bodybuilding stuff? by people when you're out with your partner or family and you just want to enjoy a normal day yeah you know it's 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 actually quite annoying i i get i get this a lot more with tattoos actually uh than, than anything else like people kind of like stop you and they're like oh this tattoo did your head hurt and then they're like did your head did that hit your head hurt? and it's like oh i've literally had this chat with people about probably 17 million times i'm like i literally do not want to talk about this <laughs> Look, but um, looking the looking the way you do, it's impossible for people not yeah, to know, ask. It. I know, I know. And it, obviously in Turkey, do you know what? Actually, the funniest thing that happened: this kid, we're like down like the little town centre bit. This kid walks up to me and he had a fucking scale on him, bro. No fucking lie, right? And he's like, oh, he goes, oh, he walks up like I think they do that just so you can give him money or something, just like a. But obviously for me, it was kind of like, what the fuck, fucking he's got a scale. And he put the scale down, make me like weigh myself on the fucking scale. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was, it, was he, was he, he didn't have a video or anything. He was just doing it. No, no. I think what he does is that they're like little kids that have been put on the, like on there. And then just like people give him money when like, almost like 
Oh, okay. they, they let you weigh yourself, and then when you weigh yourself, you give them like a bit of money. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah, they hold their hand up. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, "Oh yeah, like." And you know what's the funniest thing? It's like he put the scale on, and I step on the scale. It was like uneven floor, and it came up. It was like 107 kilos. I was like, "Can't be 107 oh, kilos." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Fuck I'm like, "Your scale's fucking wrong." And I'm like, <laughs> "You're probably angry." And I'm like, "I know." No, I said, "I like, put it over there." Like it was like even floor. He put the scale and it was like 117, 180. And I was like, oh, that's, that's better. I'm like, better. still no good as I've lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll fuck you up, mate. That'll fuck you up. Yeah, but, literally, the first time I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> do you know what, right? So this is a funny, like, I actually read this before we came on. And straight away, my mind went to, so after the universe, me and Amy went to Fort Ventura. And everywhere I go, I'm sure you're the same. I'm sure you're the same. It's not like I'm special. I'm just say wherever I go, People are like, hey, fuck it, big man. Oh my God. Yes. Last week, I was just getting, filling up petrol. And some and a group of lads drove past in a fucking little boy racer car. Fucking hell, mate. Uh, what the fuck do you eat? Oh my God. Yeah. Right? So, and I could say, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Right? But I went to Fort Ventura. No one said anything. I was walking down the street. I just won Misty fucking Universe, right? So my, I'm up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one said a word. People weren't looking. People, no, no one said anything. So I said to Amy, I went, Amy, do I look small? And she was like, why? why? I was like, why is no one looking? And she was like, you're no pathetic. looking at me. What the fuck? You are pathetic. And I was like, I know. So it's, yeah. like, it's like, I moan when people ask. Then when no one asks, I'm like, hmm. I know. And you it's know? more like, I think it's more nicer when you walk past someone and they kind of look, look at you and like, oh, the size of that kind of something. That's what, like, when they stop you. So for example, okay. what was annoying is one time, remember, we're going to Toby Recovery, right? And we're queuing up to the to the like to the thing for the guy that cuts you the meat. And we're there, and he goes, Oh, um, so he, he looks at me and he's like, So you go to the gym, you like to go to the gym. And I was just thinking, Oh, here he goes. So he goes, So what do you bench? And I'm like, and I was just sat there thinking, no matter what fucking answer I give you, whether I said 60 kilos or 200 kilos. It makes fuck all difference to you. You don't understand what that means anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whether I said to you six, because he doesn't, he's, he, he wasn't someone that goes to the gym. Right, right, right. Like people that ask you, what do you bench? They're not people that actually train. They haven't got a concept of how heavy it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He hasn't, he doesn't actually get like what's heavy and what's not, right? So it was, it was almost like they're just trying to make conversations. So I found that that, that was annoying. That's annoying because I'm like, just cut my fucking meat, right? And let me fucking move on with my fucking food, right? I do not want to stand here and chat to you about what I fucking bench. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I had it um two days ago. I was out right. for a co- I was out for a coffee with Amy and her mum. And as I walked out, there was uh, some of the staff members at the place. He went, excuse me. And I was like, yeah. He goes, what do you bench? And I was like, and the actual answer is I don't bench anymore. Yes. But so I you just, don't want to uh, try and explain that because that's yeah like... yeah exactly yeah I went so I said two hundred and thirty kilo and he went ah oh. yeah because like, basically he didn't understand how heavy that was almost like is that a lot <laughs> yeah he went oh, I think that's good yeah so I said two hundred thirty and he went ah oh. goes how long do you reckon it would take for me to get big and I was like yeah <laughs> yeah I was like ah oh. so the answer is too long isn't it so in the end you end up just saying ah oh, a couple of years a couple of years. Literally, uh, yeah. So it's one of the things that you just do not want to have these fucking chats with people, especially because they're like they're not people that actually get it. They're just kind of like trying to make conversation. Because you can also tell when you start giving if you gave them the proper answer, you you bore them. They'd, yeah. they'd, they'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But you end up, so you just say like a quick answer, like, oh yeah, a couple of years, mate. Yeah, if you just eat a load of food and yeah, yeah. But no, it, it is annoying, but also. um as we spoke about earlier, it kind of is part of our personality now, whether mm. we like it or not, it is. Oh yeah, like if, if no one looked, like if you walk out, go to the shops or something, say you wear a vest, right? You've been, let's say you've been at the gym, because the gym is like right near Asda, so sometimes I'll go train arms, get a pump <laughs> in my vest, and I'll yes. walk in, and I'm like looking, is someone looking, is people looking? Yeah. No one, what the fuck, like do I look shit? I put my fucking jumper back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, we, we fucking subconsciously do it. Like, if you've got a pump, you want people to see that shit. Yes. You do, like, and, and people go, no, I don't really care. It's only for me. Bollocks. Nah. Bollocks. Like, you, we, 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 everyone came to, to, to hate that sort of attention, but it's nice, mate. It is, like, you know. 
I'm literally like finished the gym outside my gym is a shop but i'm like no i'm gonna walk like about 10 minutes like from the gym to the corner shop to get a fucking monster <laughs> <It's got laughs> a they walk back to my car i'm, I'm getting steps in is it fun? yeah no <laughs> that'd be fun. but i think the thing is it only it's only when you got a pump like oh, if yeah. if you were to go in that shop before the gym i bet you'd oh. keep your top off i i wouldn't even have my top off no <laughs> yeah exactly exactly 100 yeah, percent. that's why oh, yeah. when you see someone is that not weird to you when you see someone walks in, into the gym with a vest on? You just look at me like, what were you doing? Well, but I remember I, I used to do that. When I was smaller, I used to, just, yeah, what the fuck? I used to walk around town in a vest. 100%. I used to have short shorts and a vest on. Yeah. And I was fucking tiny. What the fuck? What the fuck? I Imagine miss- doing that now. I wish I could do that now. And, and I, yeah. I wish I could do that now, not having a pump and actually feeling comfortable and feeling like, and I tell you what, when it's hot, granted, I will do that because I'm like, it's just too hot. Who gives a fuck? But like, I'm kind of aware that I've still got side like decent size on, so I could I could do that. And not, but like, I, I don't know, not not on normal basis, nah. No, 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 no. If it was like just a normal day, there's no way I'm wearing a fucking vest in here out. No way, no way. It's just I don't know. The the, the more into this you get, the less the Unless more like self conscious. Same as like when I go train legs, right? I actually hate training. I'll train, I'll, I'll wear shorts if I'm training chest or back. Yeah. But if I'm training legs, I might bring a pair of shorts on me and put them on after I got a pump. But I'm not going to go with shorts. I'm going to wear baggies at the, at the gym. Have you got certain shorts that make your legs look smaller? <laughs> yes. I've got, so have you, oh, bro, what is that? Certain shorts, right? If they're short, but not tight. Yes. Right. So, so I've got a pair like in this fucking pile here. They're sh- they're shorts. So they come up like, halfway down my leg, down my quad, but they're a little bit baggy. Yeah, mate, I look terrible. In it. But if I wear shorts that are quite short, but they're tight, they, they hug my legs. I, they look big. You know I what I'm saying? The top that you love that uh, you love that top, but you've put it on. Your leg. I look <laughs> small. I can't wear it. Bro, I've got so many, like, ah, oh, so many. I love the look of it, but it's like. Oh. No, yeah, no, 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 no. and you, you can't throw them away because you're like, I'm gonna wear them at some point. Never. Yeah, you're, you're maybe waiting for the top. you're yeah, waiting not. for the day where you you don't feel small. But when? yeah, <laughs> when's that? I've got one top. It's a so it's a it's a it's a long sleeve white top, and it's quite tight. So it's almost like a like a sweatshirt, but like a fitted. Right, right. I love that. I spent like sixty five quid on it. It comes. I put it on. I'm like, yes, it's so nice. One day, like one day, I'm like, I'm gonna wear it. I come down in it like all proud and and she, and I think I was, I was starting to die at the time. And Becky goes, "Oh, you look quite, you look quite. Um, what what, what did she say? Like, not skinny, but you look slim in that top." Oh, I'm like, I'm never wear. I literally it off, never put that top on again. To this day, long, I put it on. I've got a long sleeve that's like that. Uh, I thought it was right here. In fact, yeah, I've got a long sleeve and I really like it, but. I actually blend it to Amy. Amy wears it as like an oversized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I put it on, mate, I don't know what it is. There's something about it. It's like a long sleeve black um, explosive fibers one. Right. Right, it's fucking, it makes me look tiny. I don't know why <laughs> I've even got it still. I should literally just throw it away. It's or... slimming anyway, but. I hear it is. Oh, fuck it. But yeah, fuck me. Hate it. Um, next question, anyway. Uh, well, this actually sort of ties in with what Alex said. Um, what do you think of the UK's 100% or nothing investment in bodybuilding compared to the more relaxed approach? Why is it just in the UK, though? Yeah. So basically, everything revolves around bodybuilding compared to like just basically training because you enjoy it. Um, well, ultimately, it's about what you enjoy in it. And um, the thing is, if you want to take it to a higher level, you can't be too relaxed. Some people might like to give the impression that they're relaxed, but if you if you're taking it to a higher level, you can't be too relaxed. You just can't. So I think the difference between being relaxed and understanding that you kind of need to have a little bit of a balance every now and again, right? If you're someone that brings your fucking meals to a family dinner, let's say. Your mum invites you in and you're like, oh, I can't eat. I'm going to bring my fucking meal. Right. If you're on prep, fine. 
But if you're in the off season, like, you know, there used to be times when my mum would be like, oh, you know, come down to like Southampton, we'll go out for lunch. I can't, I'm dieting. Or like, uh, like I wasn't even dieting. I'm just like, oh, I can't, I can't eat for eat off plan. And like now she will sometimes be like, yeah, come down, and I'm like, hey, we go out for eat. She's like, can you? Can you eat? And I'm like, of course I can eat. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Like if you're like, you know, or like your mate come goes, oh, you know, someone you haven't seen for a while, like, oh, you know, we should go out for a meal or something. And it's always meals, like, because chances are the friends that we have are still in that circle. So they're not going to go, yeah, let's go out on the piss. No, no. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. So, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. Like, Amy's actually got a client and she gives her, like, so Amy's given her an off plan. And she said 1,500 calories. So she goes, don't be too precise. She goes, but just roughly in that, not that figure and just have whatever you want. But this girl can't detach herself from it. But she's like, she sends Amy, like, she goes, we're thinking of going here, is that okay? And Amy's like, yeah, of course, go wherever you want. If you go a bit over, it's okay. But then that girl says, yeah, but you said 1,500 calories. And Amy's like, look, if you go a bit over, I don't really care. Like, it's not a big deal. If you go 2,000, 3,000, like, whatever. But this girl can't switch off, and it becomes a real problem. A real problem. I've had that with girls, quite a few, actually, where they'll go, I'm like, right, go and have your off-plan meal. Oh, we're going to go to such and such restaurant. What I'll do is I'll send you the menu and you can tell me what to eat. I'm like, what you want me to pick for you for your off plan meal? Are you fucking joking? I'm like, go and have whatever the fuck you want. Have some you had people, that? Some people can't, man. They can't do it. They can't do it. Ke- Kev's very much like that, where if I say to him, eat, eat this, I, I say that as if like everyone fucking knows who he is. One of my clients, he's like that, like, and he's he's like ripped all year long. He just he just doesn't like to put body fat on. He doesn't, he hates it if I say to him, going out, have an off plan. He's like, no, you tell me what to have because I otherwise it just messes with my head too much. Like, and I'll just like, I'll just say, I need you to, if I like give him an off plan, I'll say, you got a Burger King and you get this and this because he likes Burger King. I'm like, you're going to get this. And he does that. And he wants it laid out from there. Do you know what? Like, Fair enough. If you've got an agreement on that, fair enough. I think what it is, though, is that this girl doesn't enjoy it. Like, she hates the fact that she's like it, but she can't help it. She's really battling with her own mind all the time. She's like, me and my boyfriend, we're going to have uh, fajitas. Um, so I've laid out the chicken, and I've, I've and one of the tortillas, I even made a bit smaller. Like she cut a bit off the tortilla because it was like... So Amy, like, Amy's got to the point where it's really frustrating. She's like, Fucking hell, like just enjoy. And I bet you the girl doesn't even look like that great. You know what I mean? Like, look, she for for, for her level, she's okay, but yeah. M- meaning the people that are like that generally I, aren't yeah. the people that are like that look that like the best because they're I think they compensate. They tell you one thing, right? But then I, I bet you she goes and has that. And then she, like, every now and again, she has a, a fucking blowout where she goes and fucking eats everything under the sun. Because the, you you can't be like that so fucking tunnel vision. You can if you're in prep. But even that has an end to it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Prep's, prep's got, uh, it's finite, isn't it? It's not it's not forever. It's just a, a certain amount of time. Yeah. yeah you're right. <clears throat> the people who are high level typically aren't like that. They're not. No. They, 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 they understand the... I understand the benefit of being able to switch it off and enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's like one of those things that for, for a lot of people, a lot of people seem to struggle. But you've got to remember, like, you're not fucking trying to win the Olympia. You just, you're just either trying to look your best you can or even like trying to win a fucking amateur show. It's not, it's not that fucking deep. So no, it's not. One meal or, or, or let's say a meal a week for a six week period isn't going to define your progress. It's not. <clears throat> so yeah, also, think- they're the people that will then go oh I found your zero calorie syrup can I use that and it's like you're like oh my god it's like I think for me that's what takes the fun out of bodybuilding when, when you're too, when you're too anal about every single minutia that for me that's not fun anymore I, I, I do like precision to a degree but you know it's draining because yeah. you can only you, you've only got so much mental energy for that I think I think this is the kind of people the those people are also the ones that burn themselves out, like what you said earlier. If you mm. do that all the time, all the time, all the time, there'll be a point finally where you just fuck it. 
I don't I don't want to do that anymore. It's just it's it's not it's so taxing on the mind. You know, you need to be able to switch off from time to time. All of the best guys that I'm aware of have downtime. You know, even, we're talking even like highest level pros. Yeah. They have downtime, you know. When uh, I think with 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 my end of my prep, like where I didn't end up having any time off, I didn't actually take time off the gym. I didn't take time off diet because I yes, like my food went up, but it's still structured. It's still on a diet, right? So it kind of, I think that in the end just ended up like burning me out. And that's why I kind of lost it for so long. And now I'm like happy that I'm like, right, got back and I'm like, training's back on, everything's back on. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm happy now that I'm like. Yeah. And you, you, I guess you learn from it as well. Maybe, you know, the more this girl, for example, the one I'm talking about, like the more she does it, the more she realize that, you know, it's going to, it's going to be a downfall in the end, isn't it? So mm -hmm. you have to learn. I think we've all done that though, at one stage or another. Like yeah. you learn the hard way. Uh, next one. Would you let Chudley die to get first in Mr. Olympia? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him. He's a prick anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, two days out from a bodybuilding show, would you rather? Would you rather cheat on your diet or cheat on your girlfriend? I, two days out. <laughs> Two days I'm out. Very skeptical. You're gonna want to cheat. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh. Unless it's like Megan Fox. <laughs> I can't imagine like. No. I mean, look. Two days out. If you cheat on your diet, is it really that bad? Like, if you. But, yeah, you're probably how... you're probably carb loading anyway, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Have you never done that though? Where like, two days out, you've just like gone off and cheated on your diet like yeah my first ever prep first ever ever prep i was about uh i was probably like four, four or five days out and i was i just done dmp as well and you know what dmp does to your hunger right it makes yeah. you a bit loopy yeah so i was on dmp and i went and binged on ice cream um my parents had um cart door you know um, the, yeah. like, oh you yeah. told me that story yeah they had yeah. the cart door and i thought i'll have one i went on this and i was like yeah. And that was it. Yeah, the whole the whole thing gone. I think I had, I had a tub and a half. I had a tub and a half. And I was four, I was four days out. Yeah. So it wasn't going to affect you much. Hard to say. I mean, I, I, I was quite conditioned. But I could have been better. So. Yeah, yeah. But I think, like, you know, it's always funny to me when I, you know, because we sometimes you go to a show and you go backstage and you see people like eating muffins and cookies. Like you're just about to go on fucking stage. Yeah. Wait and have a fucking hour and you can have all that shit. Yeah. Like fucking stuff in their face. That's cheating on your diet basically. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I remember that back in the day, like people were eating loads before they got on stage. I'm like, really? In about two hours, you can go and do whatever you want. Like yeah. fucking just wait, just wait. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Well, people uh, will be like, they'll justify. They're like, oh, I need a McDonald's before the before the stage, and it's like, oh, it used to frustrate me. I'd see like small bikini girls having rice cake after rice cake with peanut butter rice cake. Peanut. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Especially like, like on show day. Like, I, I, I can't say for, for for everyone, but for me, it was kind of like I didn't want to eat. Like I was literally like, I was thinking, like, I don't even want to eat. Like your stomach's like because you're fucking nervous, right? So you just think. The last thing you want to do is fucking eat. <laughs> yeah, on show day, my mind is definitely not on food. It's like, there's a job to do, right? You're, you're, you're there yeah. for a reason. Um, Especially if you know that you're not on or you're not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? You don't I think, think, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just going to... I better have this muffin here. It's like, no. <laughs> I, I, think, I think a lot of people are just kickboxing. Like, they don't really care about bodybuilding. They just want to step on stage like once. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh I, I did it. They got the Instagram post where they're like, Oh my god, shreddy! I have got shreds. Like, yeah, fucking yeah. not. Um, yeah. So uh, I think cheat on your diet is probably the wiser option. Last question. Hold on, on that last, on that previous question. Yeah, go does on. she get to find out that you've done it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, not. No, she doesn't find out. She doesn't find out. Well. Then that changes. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> but, I, I, no. but then, but then we've got another problem. 
Does your dick even work when you're two days out? That's what I was just saying. Like, yeah, yeah. Two days out, I'm skeptical that you're gonna want to cheat on her. Like, at two days yeah, out, but... you don't even want, like, you don't even fucking want anyone. Like, you don't fucking like. If you had, if you had like a girl with a fucking pussy and ass right there waiting to be fucked, and then right there you had like burger and chips. Burger and chips, you take. The oh burger. yeah, it's not even close, is it? It's not even close. I even think, like, even if it's, like, a fucking Megan Fox, you'd still think, nah. If Megan Fox said, fuck me in the butthole, two days out, or... 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 Uh, <laughs> a Five Guys milkshake. Um, oh, you like McDonald's, actually, don't you? McDonald's, <laughs> yeah, I like McDonald's. All right, so you can have a, you can have a McDonald's, uh, any McDonald's you want, or yeah, Megan Fox. Again, that goes back to, like, you can have that McDonald's. Yeah. But so you, you don't see... have Megan Fox, like, just any time, you know? Okay, so you'd fuck Megan Fox and then have the middle after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, la- last one then. Uh, how do you two deal with breakups? Me? I don't know. I've, ne- I've, I've, for me, it's not. I've obviously I've had a couple of like relationships where like they've like up to up to. My ex that I've got my son with, I didn't really, my relationship didn't really, like, last long. I mean, because you're up to, like, that point, I was, like, what, 19 when I met her. Like, you're not, you're not really into anything that's fucking serious, right? And then splitting up with her, I mean, uh, I wasn't, it wasn't, like, it was fucking long-winded, but it wasn't, like, I was, like, oh, heartbroken. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I, I, my answer has changed over the years. Mm-hmm. When I was younger, I was a little bit more sensitive. I'd say honestly, I would. I would say there was this one girl when I was. What's your years. longest? What's your longest relationship? Longest in one go, Amy. Yeah. The girl before I was with for a longer period of time, but we kept breaking up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we, it was you know it was bitty, but Amy is my longest. Like probably. yeah, but all right. How long was that? The girl before was four yeah. years. Four years. I thought that was longer. Uh, ah, so that's not that long then. No, I've not had one longer than that. Um, Amy, I'm surprised you haven't had one longer than that. Yeah, I've had quite a lot of girlfriends. Know, I'm surprised. Uh, I've, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, I was, yeah, I was, I was, yeah. I get, I get bored very easy. Mm. And I would like, I wasn't always the best. Um, there's a few times I would cheat and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, yeah, but we've all done that. Come on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but there was a girl when I was 20 to 22. We were on and off for that time. Um, she she sort of like sort of treated me quite badly, right? And after her, it made me change because I thought I don't want to have that again. So there was a girl. She used to be hot and cold with me. She would be really into me and then really out. And I was and I couldn't understand. I was like, why is this girl doing this to me? Um, and she she had kept getting these messages from this guy, but she would put it in her phone as her mate, right? So she was texting a guy, but it kept coming up as her friend Emma. So this Bad girl house. Emma kept texting, and I was like, "Why is Emma texting her so much?" <clears throat> and it turns out she had like been fucking this guy behind my back, and it like I remember at that point thinking, "Fuck!" Like I feel re- really vulnerable because I'm so into her, but she keeps treating me badly. So from that point onwards, it made me like a bit more yeah. like, nah. "Yeah, like I would I would prevent myself from getting in that position again." Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. If you've been cheated, if you've been cheated on before, that would probably cause that. See, I've never been cheated on. Like, it depends on how inve- into the girl you are. If you're not that into her, I guess you're like, right. but at that moment in time, I was quite into this girl, and she did it to me, and it just yeah, it's fucking shit. So I thought to myself, I don't really want to be like that anymore. Yeah, and. It made me act. So the, the question was, how do you deal with breakups? And I remember getting quite angry. Like, right. I got quite angry with her, in fact. I remember I pushed her into a fridge. So I, f- I found out she was cheating, and she tried to say sorry and tried to cuddle me. And I shoved her. I said, get away from me. And I put, obviously, I'm quite a lot bigger than her as well. So I pushed her, and she fell into the fridge. And I was like, fuck. Like, like what, am I going to get in trouble here? You know what I mean? It really like put the frighteners on me. I thought to myself, like, I can't get into this mess. Yeah. So I, I took myself out of that situation. And yeah. So I remember being so angry and I wanted to find that guy. I remember messaging him as well, saying I wanted to fucking 
go and fight him and stuff. And yeah, I don't know. But when I was younger, I dealt with it worse. As I got older, I was just more a bit more diplomatic about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a li- it's a little bit more like I, I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm I'm I've never like gave a fuck massively about like about all that. I just never, I just never. Oh, I just oh, the next, you know, like yeah, yeah. But that's but that's that's you though, isn't it? You're you're quite. I, I, that's my opinion of you is that you're quite like that. You're quite like breezy. Is the best way I can describe you. You're quite like that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I think now I wouldn't be like that now. Like if we split up now, because. It's, we've been together like six years, probably near on. Six years. Oh yeah, long time. Oh fucking hell! So if if you broke up now, hold on. Let me ask Amy. How would you deal it? If how would you deal with things if we broke up? Okay. How would you deal with it in general? Uh, well, <laughs> 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 you <would> care. <laughs> but you'd carry on. She's in prep now. She doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you go and get another muscular guy? <laughs> you know what? Though? That's that's so funny because like, when you're in prep, you're kind of like, ah, if we, if I split up with my missus now, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, because you're a bit more like, yeah, you're just like tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. I think it's also the drugs. It's it's the drugs that does that. Oh, yeah. Say it again, eh? Well, it depends on the reason for breaking up. True. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, you're right as well. The drugs make you a bit more like cutthroat. You know what I mean? Like back in the day as well. Like I would, I think I would have think like cheating is fine. I wouldn't care like cheating. I'd just be like whatever. Now, like, no. I just it's just you 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 change with years. Like me and Amy, like <laughs> don't mind me saying as well. She cheated on her ex boyfriends. I cheated on my ex girlfriends, and finally, it's nice to be in a position where. We don't have to hide our phones from each other and stuff like that. Like you just, we just completely open. Oh, man. It's yeah, it's like not having to fucking take it into the fucking toilet when you like go for a sh- like not let's say you go for a shower and fucking take it with you and it's just so much less stress. Yeah, you 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 have a much easier and more stress free life when you're mm-hmm. not cheating. Like fuck, and it's kind of because you find like it, it's sometimes it's like tempting because when you're yourself so long, you kind of like think oh it's just something different, right? But then you kind of think like. It's actually not any different. It's the fucking same. It's, do you know, but it's like, I think it comes down to respect. Like, I think I want Amy to respect me enough to not do it. But I respect Amy enough not to do it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And and when I was younger, I feel like I was lacking that. Yeah, you wouldn't give a Do you know what I mean? Her. Now it's not even so much about, like, I, you just wouldn't want to do that to her. I wouldn't want to upset her. No, I really wouldn't. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, I didn't want to upset them though. There was something different. I don't know. It's all, it was like I wasn't like mature enough. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because mm. I hurt plenty of girls over the years. And it's not really nice oh, to say yeah. that, but I did. You oh know? yeah. I mean, like 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 I said, back 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 then I just wouldn't give a fuck. I'll just do what I want. I just it's a lot, it's a lot more just being selfish, but I think you 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 kind of like it's like a phase. It's like a phase, and you you go through that, and then you're kind of like, right, I'm done with that now. I think um, for me, I, I can liken it to um, when I used to go out and do drugs all the time. It got to the point where it was it was no longer even fun. So the the stiff and the drugs used to override the hangover. Yeah, it was worth it. It was like, yeah, I sniff, and I'm gonna feel rough, but it's worth it because I'm having fun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But then over time, the fun decreased and the hangover increased. Yeah, but so it's not worth it anymore. And a bit like when I used to cheat, I was like, "Yeah, but it's worth it. Fuck it, whatever. I don't give a shit." Then over time, the, the hurt that you're causing is not worth it, and it's like, well, what, why, "Why are we?" All doing the anxiety this? of you getting caught. Hundred yeah. percent, being on edge all the time. As you say, going for a shit, taking your phone. Any time your phone was out, would be down. Yeah, yeah. Never face up, always down. And if they pick up your phone, you're nervous because you think right. they're fine. Yeah. Whereas now, Amy's like, can I go in? I'm like, yeah, cool. And it's so yeah, yeah, nice yeah. to be like that. Like, yeah. to have a clear conscience. And it's, yeah, that's what it is. It's just nice to know that you've not done anything. There's, no, yeah. there's nothing for you to get in the shit. 100%. So, you, you know what? This actually happened to me. Um, came through. I was supposed to tell him. This, but it's such a small deal. Anyway. This girl messaged me. Let me try and find it quick. There you go. So... Uh, she messaged saying, hi, Ryan, I just thought I'd let you know somebody's using your photos on Plenty of Fish. Yeah. 
they started messaging me and then we exchanged WhatsApp and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's only because I showed my sister and she actually knows you. But then she found out. She sent me this guy. So I got his number now and I tried calling him earlier. So this guy's pretending to be me, messaging yeah, yeah, yeah. girls. That could really like fuck things up. Imagine if someone messaged yeah. Amy saying, your, your boyfriend's on plenty of fish. Do you know what I mean? Imagine that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. That sort of stitch up. Did you ever have anyone try to catfish and be you? See, this is the thing. Like, I'm actually quite jealous about this because I've never, I, not that I know of, but I've never had someone, I've never had someone try and pretend to be me. You're jealous I'm of it. You actually, you want it. You're like, why, why not? I know. I know. And, and, and you know what? If it happened, I'll kind of, I'll probably not like it. I'll probably like be a bit annoyed about it. But like, and I think that's because I don't really post selfies or anything like that. Like, not many. I don't really post pictures. So, yeah, this 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 dude, Um, I actually put him, uh, you know, if you save the number and then you go onto WhatsApp? Yeah. I saved him as Pretender. <laughs> and uh, he's got me as his profile picture. Oh, yeah. And um, I messaged him. I said, hello, mate, you look familiar. I swear we should know each other. He hasn't. He hasn't read it yet. Maybe I should try and ring him. Go then. Give me his number. Do it now. I will. What's the number? Zero seven five seven five. Nine nine four. Nine nine four. Six nine three. Six nine three. <laughs> I'll just say, is that Ryan? Yeah. Go on. Let's go. Five seven. Five, nine, nine, four, nine. Answer phone. You can't take your call right now. Just leave your message after the text. Says it can't take my call right now. Shit. But anyway, this fucker's fucking... I've had loads over the years, if you remember. No, I do, yeah. Mate, that would have been so good, wouldn't it? For us to, like, oh, ring... Oh, imagine him. that. Yeah, that would have been good. Save him as Ryan 2. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try him again later on? I'm gonna try and see if I can WhatsApp him. Yeah, if if you get his WhatsApp up, yeah, you'll see my fucking my face. Yeah. <laughs> right, for fuck's sake. Try and ring yeah. him. I think he's got his phone off. Probably because you tried to ring him. No, because that's on WhatsApp. Oh. No, because WhatsApp will ring. No, because you're going to get signal if on WhatsApp, it'll still give signal. Ah, uh, okay. I thought sometimes people that have it deactivated the ring and still use WhatsApp on it. Oh, is that, is it? I, I don't know. No, I think, I think his phone's off. Maybe because you tried to ring him. That would have been so good if he answered. Ah, oh, fuck. I know. I know. Oh, fuck, I'll try as well. I wonder who he is, though. But no, obviously, if, if his phone's off when I rang him. No, you should try and ring him on normal. Imagine if he watches the podcast. <laughs> right, that would be so funny. Oh, he's ringing. No. Is that on normal phone? Uh, let me try one more normal. Try normal, normal's normal. I didn't, I couldn't. Four, four. Yeah, yeah so that's how I got. Yeah. Yeah, but WhatsApp will re will let you ring. Right, okay. But it, his phone's still off. Like, that would have been great. So that would have been so good. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Is it just uh, the same guy? Say again. Is it always the same guy? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Because yeah, I've had so many over the years. And I, I don't know if it's a like, one guy who's got a vendetta. Or if it's loads of different, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think it's a it's a vendetta. I I, I think generally these guys are just like they'll look at you and they think, well, he's a guy that girls would would be interested in, right? So then, yeah, no, that's what that's why it must. Because why would you just pick? Because yeah, he's trying know. to talk to girls, isn't he? That he's trying to catfish girls. I guess so, but you could use anyone. 
you could, you could be anyone. So I, you, I, could, yeah. you couldn't just you couldn't choose. Obviously, he couldn't do it himself because he wouldn't because girls wouldn't. He probably isn't someone that girls would find attractive or that they would want. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh man, the internet, I don't know. You, you're more of a like. I think you are more like guy that would be like I. I feel like I've got a smaller pool of like. I'm like a niche market, you know. Not a lot of girls would want someone like me. They're like, I think a lot more ga- girls would want someone like you, though. Well, it, uh, yeah, okay. So well, you're, the only thing that puts girls off you probably is the head tattoos. Yeah, but no, ta- but tattoos in general, girls like tattoos. I know, but there's tattoos and then there's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm I think we're like an arm done, or or. But I think I'm like, like where people look. You know when when girls like would look at you and they like normally they look at you in a different way. Especially now that I've got not not got hair. I think if I had hair, that would be different. Right, right. If I had, I and I know that that's when I've got hair. Um, girls look at me differently. Whereas now they kind of look at you like, oh, what the fuck, you know? What I mean? Yeah, I, I feel like, but there's there be girls that are really into it. Like you're a niche, but when they are into it, they're really into it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? But the girls with the, the, the tattoos as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. And it's usually a bit of a fetish kind of thing, isn't it? Like, they oh, really yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But equally, like, I probably wouldn't date a girl with no tattoos. Beck's quite covered, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's got, like, oh, both she arms. She's got a leg. She's got... She's she's got... She's got, like, her back done. So she's got loads of tattoos. Oh, so they're like me. Them. They're like my... They're not, like... You know, some people have like patches. She's like solid. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 So you wouldn't date, you would never date a girl that, you know. Nah, not with no tattoos. Nah. I mean, like, I'd probably, if she was to get go get her face like done and stuff, I'd probably like that as well. Yeah. So that's, that's where it becomes more niche, doesn't it? It's a bit like training. Like, I would say, generally speaking, girls like a guy in shape. Yeah. But, but when you go too far, it's sort of like, it goes, yes, 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 too muscular. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and the same with tattoos. Like, oh, tattoo, oh, he's got Steve. Oh, oh he's got his face tattoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's such yeah. that I think it's just an extreme. Like, when you see someone with, like, a fucking black arm and, you know, it kind of is, it almost, it becomes like, a oh, what the fuck is that? Like, Yeah, it's like a, yeah. But then maybe maybe you become, like, a thing that they think they'd quite like to do at once. Maybe, yeah. But but you become, like, a fantasy. Like, oh, it'd be nice to put, like, oh, face tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's an intimidating look, though. It's more like something that's kind of, like, People look at it and think, oh, I'm going to keep away from that, you know? And like, yeah. Whereas you look more like you've still got that, like, look to you, you know what I mean? Yeah, a bit more, Um, it's just more normal, isn't it? Like, more, more people would look like, more You don't look normal, normal, but you look more like the, 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 the type that, like, girls would want. I don't know. Oh. I think, like, again, bit- like, when I had hair, it's different. The bigger I got, the more men like it. Hundred percent. Yeah, like, and I don't, not even just like hey, but just men in general. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Men, men really respect size because they know what it takes. Well, some do, um, and gay men like it. But I'd say most women don't like the big, the big, big look. You know? No, they don't. No, and I, I, I don't know why. I, I, what I think is, is what comes with it. So it's not even necessarily the look. It's um, it's that you're obsessed with a thing. Like you're, you're you're into your own looks. That's what they assume. They assume that you're just very self centered. You're too like you love yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And also, it can maybe make them feel insecure because where you're hyper focused on the way you look. Yeah. Then they could be like, "Well, he's going to judge me." Yeah. True. You know what I mean? Those women, we don't want these women anyway. No. You know those women that are like, "Oh, I'll never date a t- guy with like that's like that big," and you're like, "Well, here yeah, you're just out of shape, and you got like four kids, and it's like, no, we yeah. don't want you anyway." You know what I mean? It's yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, yeah. You're you're not exactly a catch, you know. Yeah. So those those girls that say that, you're like, you're just like overweight, and it's like you you know all you do is get pissed on the weekend. We don't want you anyway. Hundred percent. You know, like I find it quite unattractive. If the girl was like going out every weekend, I'd be like, uh, "No, yeah, no, I couldn't do no that." Way. The occasional night out, maybe, but even that, I'm like, I know, same. When she got, maybe she'll go out like once every six to eight weeks, like every now and again. And I'm kind of like, you know, I like, I'm, I want to that night. I stay up, I go pick her up. It's kind of like one of these things that I'm like, I can't just go to bed and like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh uh, yeah, you'd feel, yeah, you'd feel, you want to know that like she's gonna get home right and stuff, you know? Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like when I got with Amy, she was more like that. 
I've seen an evolution of Amy. She was more get pissed and sort of whatever. But as time's gone on, I, I can probably count on one hand the amount of time she's gone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, just like, it's not even a thing anymore. I think that also helped, you know, with what we were saying about how you... If someone gave you reasons to be jealous... Yeah. If they were out every weekend or every other weekend, it might make you think, is she doing something? You know, what, what is she craving attention from other men? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... Mm. At that point, I just wouldn't be with that person. Nor would I. Nor would I. If, if, if they made me feel, like, insecure about the relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. But anyway, mate, I think we've done uh, quite a hefty one here, haven't we? So... <laughs> yeah, like two <laughs> hour long, yeah. Know. All right, mate, until next time. Yeah, all right, mate. Thanks, everybody.